Hi guys, uh, this is Sajja. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the character controls, constant force, sphere collider. Okay, next I'll teach you box collider and component collider. Okay, and also the mesh collider. Okay, what is character collider? Character controller. Okay, character controller is used in Unity game engine for humanoid character you can use this uh, character controller for creating a humanoid character the game like players or NPC characters okay it is mainly used for third person games and FPS character I cannot show you the real world example of the character controller in my game because I have not used that controller okay uh, let us see a constant force yeah next constant force what is constant force constant force is nothing but a <coughs> liquid utility for applying a constant force to a rigid body okay it is used for creating a rocket okay rocket bullets or any type of object any type of uh, effects okay okay um, I'll create an object, go to game object, create other and cube. Okay. Now the cube is um, created and I've scaled it out. Okay, let us see attach a constant force this to this object. Go to component physics and attach a constant force. Yeah. If you attach a constant force, the rigid body will automatically apply to that object. Okay, rigid body is mandatory mandatory for the constant object. You cannot remove the rigid body from the object inspector because if you re remove the rigid body, it says that the constant force is dependent upon the rigid body. Okay, let us. Uh, increase the relative force of the constant constant force let's see what is happening yeah. now you can see the object is affected by the physics sinking this is okay to make this object to move straightly without affecting the physics that is without affecting the gravity you have to disable the use gravity button in the rigid body property okay let us play it and see the object will move along along its local eject axis okay what are the options which you see in a constant force force the force is a vector of a force to be applied in the world of space relative force the force a vector of a force to be applied in the object's local space okay what is torque? A vector of a torque applies in world space. The object will begin spinning around this vector. The longer vector is, the faster the rotation. Relative torque. Okay. Uh, the vector of the torque are applied in the local space. Okay. The object will begin spinning this way, along with this vector okay in its local space okay uh, let us go to the colliders that's it okay I'll delete it I'll, go. I'll create an object game object create object I'll create a sphere okay please be very careful while attaching a collider to an object okay if you attach a wrong collider to a wrong object the physics uh, the physical uh, appearance and the physical uh, physics which is applied to that object will be will be different okay let us apply the box okay let us play and see before that I will attach a rigid body component physics rigid body okay now i will play the game and see yeah now the object is uh, reacting in the physics world in the game world okay. now i am going to change the collider go to object 
six and change to box collider. I'll say this replace. Now you will play the game and see. Yeah. See the physics does not look look correct for this sphere. Okay, because the collider collider is not correct for the sphere. We have to use sphere collider for this. So please be very careful in choosing the collision object so like the collider for the object okay let us see the option which you which are there in the collider go to physics and create a physics code sphere collider mm. the sphere collider cannot uh, there are some constraints for the sphere collider uh, you cannot uh, scale the sphere collider if you scale the object the sphere collider will not uh, affect will not uh, will not scale along with the object okay let us scale this sphere in a specific angle okay specific direction you can see the sphere collider does not scale along with the um, the sphere okay so please be very careful in uh, in scaling okay it's not scale and a collider object okay but you can or you can scale overall scale the overall scale the object okay let us go to the materials of mat uh, options of the sphere collider <coughs> materials what does the material use material is used to attach a physics material that determines how the collider will interact with other okay is trigger what does is trigger represent if you enable this the collider will use for triggering even okay and it is ignored by the physics engine okay. radius radius is the radius of the collider you can use to increase the radius of the collider okay uh, center point is used for affecting the center point of the or collider object you can move the um, colliders center point by adjusting the x y z position of the of the center point okay okay let us go to the box collider box collider is same as a physics collider this has the same properties okay go to add component physics and box collider replace it it has the same property but you can um, scale it out you can size in every axis like x y or z okay it has the same property of the sphere collider what is compound collider okay compound collider is nothing but combination of the sphere collider and the box collider and and the hinge collider also. sorry that is uh, sphere collider capsule collider okay you can use the compound collider for complicated meshes okay so please be very careful in using the collider in your game yeah. Uh, what is uh, mesh collider I can't show you the real world example for common collider okay but I can show you the real world example for the mesh collider okay what is mesh collider I will uh, show you the real world example play the game yeah the car which you see in my game has a mesh collider okay you can see the mesh collider is attached to the object okay you can see a blue a green line will appear around that object okay this is the mesh which is which is modeled in a 3d package like blender okay, i'll show you that this is the mesh collider which I created in blender okay then I imported into unity and attached to that core okay don't forget don't forget 
to enable convex checkbox for the mesh collider because if you are no, if you does not if you does not enable the convex checkbox the car will not collide uh, collide with the terrain okay so don't make uh, don't forget to the to enable the convex collider okay all of the property of the mesh collider is same same as the sphere collider and the box collider okay guys let's see in next tutorial have a nice day bye